we're back. Back again. And today we have a special guest. Hey, y'all. Wait, we got to tell them what we're back with. We're back with Pretty back Opinions, again. of course, <laughs> with Ronika and, and Molly. You know, you know the vibes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And we have a special guest today. Her name is Jazz. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing tonight? Yes. And I need you guys to follow all her social media outlets. And let them know. Let them know. It's Real Jazz Michaela. R-E-A-L-J-A-S-M-A-K-A-Y-L-A. Period. That'd be me. I'd be spelling that out. I know. Spell it. <laughs> we, we're we're going to add it to the bottom, too, so you guys can mm. make sure. And down below in the description. But make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to Pretty Opinions. Follow us if you don't already follow us. Yes. Tune in. Clock in. Watch <laughs> it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so are we gonna? Oh, yeah, we. I feel like I haven't done this in so in long. A minute. Yeah, we feel rusty, <laughs> but that's that's bad. Okay, but we gotta talk about our weekends though, because we actually did. Yeah, something. this is this is something we do every time before we, we start our, our podcast. Our so we talk about our weekend. My weekend was pretty fucking lit. Yeah. I was in Punta Cana. Mm. Per. My client had flew me out and I made Lolly mm. fly herself out Ooh, because, that. bitch, you had to That's go wrong, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's wrong. I, had to, I had to work. It was a work trip, but yeah. why not? If you, you got it, bitch. You got the money. You got the funds. So, <laughs> the money. come outside with me. And we had such a good time. My yeah, face yeah. got really burnt, though, you guys. I'm still recovering, like, I didn't really think like, and it's crazy because I'm an esthetician. I know that black people could burn in the sun, but like, I really don't take it serious because I'd be like, I'm real chocolate. Like, no, the sun loves me. Like, we get along real good together. Like, my whole face was burnt. When I got home, it was like so textured and like, it was just a mess, guys. But other than that, I had a good time. I was starting with all the Dominican boys. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, was I not? They she was, was loving me. They, they loved, loved me. Her. I think I'm gonna move out there. Fuck it. Like, Bella. They love me really. Mm-hmm. But um and yeah, we just had a lot of fun. Yeah. What about you, Lally? Um so obviously I went to Punta Cana with Ranika and her client and I had a good time. My most favorite thing was horseback riding. Because I love a horse. I love a ride horse. <laughs> Me and Molly was vegan. I don't know what Which horse we talking about, sis? <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but... Nah, we went literally horse that right <laughs> Yeah, it was fun. I was doing so good. She... It's crazy. She you was know, horse like riding on with a swimsuit on. Like that's First crazy. of all, I started off with a dress. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then the thing started like hurting my leg. So I had to take the dress off. I had a bikini under it and it was cute. I got videos. Yeah. It looked there real good. So but I'm going to post it on my Instagram too. It was fun. You should. It was <laughs> fun. Um, It was just fun taking a quick trip. I wish we could have stayed there longer. I was like, damn, I don't want to come home. But it was first of all, and- I didn't even think we were going to make it. We was gonna make it. At first, it was like, uh, no, we, like okay. I, we both missed like three flights. We did. That's crazy. Especially me. And then it was my client who flew me out. I was like, oh my god, I don't even want to call her until I just missed another flight. That sounds like you had to make it at that point. I I had to because mm-hmm. she was gonna be like, girl, fuck you. <laughs> Try to expose me on Instagram. <laughs> this bitch is a clown. She's unprofessional. But literally, I did not. It wasn't my fault, was it? No, it wasn't. It actually wasn't your fault. No. For I, once, for once it, it wasn't, wasn't my fault. But we had a good time. This boy that was there tried to drown me. <laughs> <laughs> so I was sad about that. And then I got to see my family after. I came back and I went to Minnesota, Minnesota. and saw my family. So yeah. this was a good weekend. It was cute. Yeah. Eventful. What about That's you? Fun. How was your weekend, Jazz? Yeah, I was just pretty much catching up on work. I had credit to do, taxes to do. Period. I just was working. Yes. Work, work, work. Boss work, babe. Work, work, work. Getting it done. Okay. I love Definitely. that for you. I, I wish I it. was working there because I'm like, damn, I spent a lot of bread. Like, God damn, I couldn't wait well, to come At least you was working. It was work trip. <laughs> yeah, you did it work. It was a It was work trip. It was work trip. I for real. We had fun, fun, bitch. I have fun. <laughs> I made memories. Sometimes we deserve it. Yeah, like, no, you seriously. Know. You only live once. Yellow. Yeah. Okay, so, let's, yes, let's get into our guests today, yes. guys. 
guys. Our it. guest is Miss Jazz. Why don't um, you didn't introduce yourself. We, she already introduced herself, basically. Right? No, well, she didn't kind of. I just gave him my social media. Okay. Yeah. I didn't really introduce myself. What do you okay. do? Okay. Who are you? Yeah, well, who are you? What do you do? And what are you about? Yeah, what are you about? Yeah. So, hey, everybody. I'm Jazz. I'm 22 years old. I'm from Columbus, yeah. Georgia. Um, I've been here in Atlanta for about five years now. I'm a graduate from Georgia State University. Okay. Period. Yes. I graduated with an accounting degree. Um, I'm a multi-business owner. I do credit repair, taxes. I have my own hair business. What else I do, y'all? A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. Everything. A lot. A lot. And she, you guys, okay, so I've been doing her makeup for like a year and a half, almost two years, and this is why I really wanted her on our podcast because she's only 22 years old and she has so much stuff going on. She makes a lot of money. She's all about business 24 seven. She has hundreds of clients that she deal with on a daily basis. I was yeah. like, girl, she was crazy, but it's like, it's like crazy in a good way. Like you're really bossed up. Like, Bossy. you know, usually girls 22, like they're having fun, trying to figure it out. Da, da, da. No, she's literally about her business. I actually dropped her off to her graduation. And I which was there. I, was, I kept telling her the whole right there. I said, I'm so proud of you. I yeah, feel like a I mom. Yeah, I was proud too. Yes, yeah. I just t- kept elaborating, like telling her the whole right there. I'm like, damn, like you really doing it. Like not mm. only are you an entrepreneur, but you are in school cool. and you graduated. And graduated yeah. Not everyone can do that. Right. Please. And it wasn't I easy, could, man. Could. What? It wasn't man. easy. What? <laughs> And that's what I believe in too. Like people always think you have to be an entrepreneur, but I also did it for the ones who don't want to be an entrepreneur right. and want to just live a regular normal life. Right. But I show people you can do both. Period. Period. So I where did you start? That. Like how did you get your feet wet? Like mm-hmm. where did this all come from? So I first started out when I was 17 mm-hmm. years old. Um, my grandmother had just died, and. I don't know, something just put on my heart. Like, I just want to start my own business. I can remember like it was yesterday, me and my mom was on the way to Florida. And I was like, Mom, I want to start my own hair company. And she was like, what? I was like, I'm about to start researching. I always been the type to just research everything. So, y'all, I started coming up. I found a vendor. Mm-hmm. I started coming up with price lists. And then I made 100 k my first year selling hair. Period. So That's then I was like, you know what? I'm tired of selling hair. I started doing nails mm-hmm. back in my hometown. But then I felt like that wasn't for me. And then when I moved here to Atlanta, I learned credit. And it's been up ever since. You Did know, you have, like, a mentor? or? <sighs> so that's the thing. I never had a mentor. All this was self-taught. Um, I really wish I did because I feel like I could be a little bit further with, like, you know, marketing and things like that. Mm. So, yeah, I'm just self-taught. That's you know what's like. crazy? I feel like 17, 18 is, like, that age where you are, like, really trying to find, like, if you are, like, a creative person, mm-hmm. per se, like, I don't mm-hmm. know. I just know that I went through that phase where I was trying different things because I knew my mom wanted me to be a nurse so bad. I was like, girl, I'm not nurse material. I just, it's just not me. Mm-hmm. But, like, I just, I'm, like, more of creative, like, so I used to do, I used to think I was about to be a fashion designer, I used to design clothes, girl, I bought a fucking, uh, what's it called, a sewing Sewing machine, machine. I was trying to make stuff, I made shorts, I was just trying to, like, find my niche. Mm -hmm. Niche. 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 Y'all, is it niche or niche? Is it niche or niche? It's niche. Everybody pronounce it different. It's both. both. So, girl, let me say niche. They (laughs) tried to laugh at me because I said it's niche. No, we just tried to laugh at you. She was just like, it's niche. I'm like, no, y'all started laughing. I didn't. It probably was that. We did. Y'all both did. Girl, you always trying to sound innocent. She said she did. I didn't lie. Girl, yes, you did. You chuckled. I tried to chuckle. Somebody call her out. I don't remember. We need a third person because she always be like, you did this. And I be like, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. She'd be like, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm going to yes, take it to the did. grave. Girl. I didn't remember chuckling. It's okay. You chuckled. It's okay you that chuckled. you laughed. <laughs> That's not your first time you laughed at me about saying something that, and I was right about it. Mm. You okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anywho. But yeah, I was really trying to find my niche at when I was like 18, 17, 18. Mm. I was just trying different things. And then once I found makeup, I was like... Oh, I'm good at this. Like, let's get to it. And I, I haven't stopped since then. I've been doing it for like seven years, almost eight years. And that's Ooh, something child. I would say too. Child. Like, how I knew that I like doing credit and taxes is because this is something I can do for the rest of my life. Like, people, okay, but we gotta rewind. How did you? Okay, so you start. You stopped at the nails and stuff like that. Yeah, so, Atlanta. You, 
You moved to Atlanta, Atlanta and then that's no when you credit. got into credit Self and stuff. Tough. I meant to say I moved back because I had went through a rough little patch in my life. So I had moved back. Do you want to talk about it or not really? You yeah, don't got I don't to. Really want to talk about it. Okay, okay, it's, okay. it's deep. But it's deep, for the bro. ones that know out there that's going to watch this, y'all know what I went through. But basically, I had rebranded myself, moved back to Atlanta, mm -hmm. and I had a plan. So basically, I had to like free credit repair for like the first 10 people, and mm -hmm. they start seeing results like crazy. So they start referring me to people. Mm. so that's the thing people think oh all your customers come from social media no mine is organic like based. it come from referrals yeah. right. and I even do referral fees too for my clients mm. Most I think I should like yeah, I should add you that should. on my shit huh? cause if social Most media crashed like today I mean like yeah, yeah. It, you, it's all about word of mouth but I do have a, 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 a like a booking site so it's like mm -hmm. everybody that I have I could just easily yeah. email them and then I got there. something going on like I have a whole big ass email list I'm about to email all of them mm -hmm. my uh, I got that all, the, all my out. beautiful black women queens um my and non black queens <laughs> my new and that's the thing too queens. like I've always loved helping people um this is my third year doing my scholarship for high schoolers mm -hmm. so this y'all had six mm -hmm. winners Okay, so oh you, get, you give back a lot. The yeah. highest one was two thousand dollars. I think three people got a thousand, and then dope. two people got five hundred. So I always love giving back to the community. And That's I just beautiful. Love how does people. someone enroll? Like, how does how do they enroll in something like so that? I, if they do want that opportunity. I pretty much just post the application like a month before the deadline. Yeah, Instagram, and, mm -hmm, Instagram, Facebook, and then they share it with family and friends, and people just submit, and then I go through their s. I make them write an essay, submit their transcript, and I think two letter recommendations and a resume if they have one. That's dope. I All right, so that. you basically, I want you to just break down exactly what you do. So you, you're involved in credit and stuff, and I understand it, but I feel like a lot of black people don't really, especially young black people, don't really understand credit all the way. Mm -hmm. So what is it you do is like, to help with people's credit mm -hmm. if you if that's what you do like what is it with credit that you deal with like mm -hmm. what department are you like taking points mm -hmm. off of people like what are you doing exactly well for one i just want to let people know that credit is king and cash is queen people think you need one or the other you need both both facts so what I do is actual credit repair, but I also help build back up that person's credit. So a lot of people might have like evictions, collections. That's another thing. I'm gonna give y'all a free game. Do not pay any collections. Free games. Free games. That's on we, we your credit. To, to if you pay that. something that's neg negatively reporting on your credit report, it's just gonna say that it's paid. It's it's not gonna help and say that. Okay, it's so positive. like so for like student loans because I have some student loans from when I thought well my mom was trying to force me to be a nurse and I was telling her I don't want to be a nurse but I had to like you know mm -hmm. appease her at the time. I got like some student loans, not too much. Girl, I can remove so anything. You would tell you would advise somebody to get it removed instead of like paying it off. Or yes, because then you just cause cause like, like paying off. I just gave you like fifteen K back and I was just say pay and like it didn't it hire yeah. my credit. It, it don't, don't help. Because that's another years, thing right? that people don't know, like when you try to apply for things, they also look at your balance. So if you got a hundred K in balance, it's kinda just like Yeah, you your credit utilization. Yeah, your credit utilization is too high. Right. And that's that's a red flag to these creditors out here. So you definitely I do want to ask a question mm -hmm. though. It's kind of mm -hmm. like going back to what mm -hmm. you were saying before. I know you said you went through a tough time when you had to move back. You don't mm -hmm. really want to talk about it. But is there any like gems or anything you got from that like tough time that made you like who you are now or like anything you got out of that? Mm -hmm. Well, for one, I feel like nothing is wrong with having to go back to square one and start over. And it just also lets you know, like, people see this type of lifestyle. People live on Instagram. But I'm more of an example that, you know, life is real out here. People go through things. Everything is not perfect like people think they see on social media. Right. So I feel like sometimes you got to just take time to yourself and take a break. Because another thing, was I was overloading myself i was overworking myself because i don't have a team like i don't mm -hmm. trust nobody to handle my business like i would handle my business mm -hmm. so sometimes you just got to take a step back and just reassess everything right yeah mm -hmm. and i feel like that's something that i don't know can be hard like a lot of people you just pile so much mm -hmm. on yourself like ronnie because she lucky she, her mm -hmm. mom like helps her like mm -hmm. assists her 
But imagine when you first moved down here and you were doing like all your booking, everything. It's like sometimes I know you felt like, damn, I can't breathe. This is too much. No, I definitely mm-hmm. was stressed the hell yeah, out. Yeah, it's like dealing with people and mm-hmm. it's like your the business you're into, you have to deal with people. And that's so, another thing. I set boundaries. Like now mm-hmm. I only work Monday through Thursdays. I kind of have a booking site like Ronika too. Mm-hmm. So that's the only time people can contact me. Monday through Thursdays. Girl, from like and I'd be like so shocked because you be sitting there so patient because not mm-hmm. only do you have to communicate with them you have to actually work like Mm. do the other stuff behind the scenes for Mm -hmm. them or whatever so that'd be the part that'd be bugging me because like i'll get a client that's like calling me like i just asking like the dumbest (laughs) shit i'd be like what is wrong with you (laughs) it's how it be like literally a b c it's not even that deep but they'd be like hey i don't know they just want reassurance i'm not gonna judge anybody because i don't know but that part just that one that's the thing, the thing that i can't really i'm not really good at but i'll be mm-hmm. seeing you you be like really oh yeah i'll be like oh my god i wish i could be so patient like because see Jesus. with credit and stuff it's I like they don't I'm like Jamaican. know i have to educate them <laughs> I think you it's Jamaican. what i'm saying we got like short fuse yeah. i'll be yeah. like over it i'll be like girl so now i have my mom do that and it mm-hmm. is important to have a team though mm-hmm. I can't wait till you find like some like people that you actually trust because you're gonna get so much more done. Cause mm-hmm. I already know all the other stuff that you had planned ahead, mm-hmm. so I know you're gonna get so much more done. Like as soon as you find like a team, like a team is. I'm not gonna lie though, my business important. really kind of on autopilot. Like it, it really kind of so it, it works itself. to run itself, yeah. right? And then whenever I do get like too overworked, my mom will step in. Like I done taught her my whole business. She can yeah. run from point A to point Z. So it's kinda on autopilot. I right. will say that. I know oh, you were good. saying that um people like have like a lot of questions with credit because mm-hmm. they just don't know, yeah. right? So what are like some misconceptions or things that people will ask you that, you know, <clears> they need <throat> clarification with, you know, that you kinda help people work through? The number one thing that people have questions about is the collections. Because they be like, oh, well, I was told if I pay it, then I'm good. But mm-hmm. that's the thing. You can pay a collection. It's still going to report a co- as a collection on your credit, but just as paid. Mm-hmm. And then another thing, too, people be confused about when you have, like, open credit card balances and you have, you don't use the whole, co- the whole max, basically. Mm-hmm. People be confused because... Payment history is the biggest chunk of our credit score, but right. people don't know that. Right. You want to keep your credit cards like 30% you know or lower. You know what's crazy? I've been paying off my bills on time for like five fucking months <laughs> and still at the same spot. Like, I'm pissed. Like, what a. Because usually. But are you paying the minimum? No, I'm paying the whole shit. That's another thing. Don't pay your yeah. whole balance because that's just like okay, you're paying okay, it okay, off. okay, okay. The only thing I'm not paying my whole shit is like is, a, is one credit card. One credit card. That's the only thing I'm not paying. But obviously, I got to pay my whole. I'm talking about my bills. Like, I can't pay half a bill. Like, it's not worth No, like but that. I'm saying that's the thing, too. Like, are you saying, like, your rent and stuff? Do you know if your rent is reporting to your credit? Because if not, then it's. I ain't even talking about that. What, what talking you about talking about, bills. sis? Your car note? Like, car note. Car note, insurance. That that's boom, the thing. Boom, boom, that's nothing. All people that like, little shit that we're like, oh my God, why when I make on time payments, they don't want to give me points for that. But then when I miss a payment, no, they because when I, use, I used to, when I used I, to do, like, if I didn't pay it on time and then I paid it on time, my shit went up. But now that I pay it on time, all the time, it's like, yeah, for some reason, with all like, they don't really mm. boost your score. It's really just like credit, credit cards. lines and credit cards. Okay, it's okay. going to boost you your know score. It's crazy. Like, when my, um, car loan got paid off it actually dropped my score like yeah. when it that's showed, the thing because that's like that was just like that's an account that's closed now mm-hmm. so that's kind of like you probably didn't even really have credit history for real so that took some history away from you mm-hmm. that's another thing people don't know like oh i paid it off but then my score dropped that's because that's some history but it goes back removed. up though yeah eventually yeah, eventually like, yeah yeah um so I know you also like help business owners too, right? Mm-hmm. Cause that, you know, business credit and people mm-hmm. trying to get loans and funding and trying to start their businesses and stuff like mm-hmm. that. So what kind of advice do you give for business owners that, you know, are trying to start a business <coughs> or need help with their business um, credit? So with the business credit, um, pretty much you just want to make sure you got your EIN, you know, your LLC, but then you can also get 
trade lines to boost your business credit. Mm -hmm. I have my business credit blueprint that people can purchase. And as far as um, starting your own business, I'm one of those people that like to plan things out. So just get you a journal, you know, write down your ideas, kind of, mm -hmm. you know, let it resonate with your spirit. And then, you know, move Ooh. on to the next step with pretty much is, you know, getting your business bank account and things like that. Okay. That's but I also so help with my uh, mentorship. So if anybody's interested, you can click the link in my bio. So I have like one online class and I'm planning on dropping another one soon, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So just tr getting your ultimate, uh, what's it called? Profit off of like an online class. Mm -hmm. I've been like like researching and like watching like certain people that like are in business or whatever, especially like on media online. Mm -hmm. And it says um, like you should like email like have an email list of like clients and all these people, Definitely. and you should like send it out to them whether they buy it or not. At least they see it, and some mm -hmm. people are gonna buy it just off mm -hmm. of the strength of oh it's you, because everybody not just gonna see it on your Instagram. You know, right. people just use Instagram slow solely as their you marketing, know, mar like their margin for like profit. Or whatever mm -hmm. but like if you have uh, me i have a whole email list of all all the clients i've ever done so um you definitely want that you want you need to, to know do your that target right audience. yeah you have to know yeah. exactly and then it's like some people don't whether they don't follow you or maybe like you don't because i follow a lot of people and it's like everybody is not showing up on my instagram mm -hmm. i don't see everybody's mm -hmm. stuff so um I would with, say, with like your businesses and stuff like that. Do you mm -hmm. have like an email list? Like, would you like send that all like to all your like products, your online products? I, would you do you <clears> like send it all to like everybody that you have or you've mm -hmm. done as far as your work and stuff like that? I have two. I have a marketing list and I have a I mean an email marketing list and an email text list. I mean a marketing text list because some people don't read emails no more. Right. But with the text, oh, the text. App, okay, okay. I'll show it to you. Okay, so I should be texting everybody. I'm it's, gonna I'm gonna use my um business phone and I'm gonna text I'm everybody. I'm not gonna say it on here, it but it's automatic. Is the app. And let me show you. It's automatic. All well, my... mine is not automatic right now. No, you can set it up automatically. Oh, I can so set, yeah. I can set it up. Yeah. Okay. So it's oh, like okay. how you so know, fashion would be like, hey, da, da, da. or one oh, big text message. Text everybody. Period. They can text me to different people. It lets you know when their birthdays like are, solely. so you can say like, so you know what? I'm hey, gonna do both. both. I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna do email. Yeah, and do text both. Cause some people yeah. don't check emails. You actually anymore. have to send me that text message. Would mm -hmm. you like to share it with the people or not really? I ain't sharing no free game. Oh, uh, period. I ain't well, you ain't getting free game. I do want to ask though. something though about mm -hmm. what you said before, just to get mm -hmm. some clarification, so people mm -hmm. can kind of like know what it is. So. I know you said that you have business owners at trade line. So what exactly is a trade line? Just so they know. So a trade line is basically a line of credit that will boost your credit score based on the history and the amount of the trade line. So let's just say, for example, I sell a ten thousand dollar trade line and I've had it for six years. Mm. So that amount and that age is going to boost your score points. But see, you have two different kinds. You have primary or authorized user. Primary is something where you just pay like a monthly fee of like $15 a month, but it takes longer to boost your score because, of course, this is something that's cheap. Mm -hmm. But in the long run, of course, it's going to help your it. score. And it stays on for about 10 years as long as you don't cancel it. But with the authorized user, it costs more. They range from like 300 to like $1,000, but it's going to boost you like hundreds of points. But then it fall off in like 30 to 60 days. So you're you're going to be right back in the same boat after that fall off. So that's for people who just trying to hurry up and get approved for something, I would say. And um, one thing, because this is what I did, y'all. So if y'all are mamas or y'all got some f siblings or family members that are cool and have good credit scores, you could just have them add you as an authorized mm -hmm. user on their card. Mm -hmm. And then when they send you the card, just shred it. Like my mom mm -hmm. added me as an authorized user because my mom got mm -hmm. some bomb credit. Shout yeah. out to my mama. She got some good credit, child. Or you can no. keep the card. I be keeping she, my people card. You ain't getting that card. No, no, yeah, I don't. I just, mm -hmm. like, I think they sent their, I didn't even need the card because I didn't care about to mm -hmm. use it. I just wanted to get her age yeah. and her credit yep. score on my credit. So if you guys do have people, instead of paying mm -hmm. too, if you have somebody that you cool with or, like, family members, that's another, like, free game, honestly. And, like, with your you mom, could she didn't have to take you off in 30 to 60 days because mm -hmm. that's keep your mom. Yeah. But, of course, when somebody is paying you and you want to get more clients, that's why people usually yeah. do 30 to 60 days but yeah, yeah. if you got a family member you can ride it as long as you want to yep. mm -hmm. 
All right, girl. So, what is your like goals for the next five years? Like, are you gonna stay in credit? Do you do taxes? Do you people taxes? I do, and that's what I was trying. Is to that hard? Earlier. Girl, it's easy. Like, I've always been that type of person. I don't get tech like, savvy. honestly, I need to take a class. I'm going to take an online class to understand financial everything, literacy. like mm-hmm. a financial literacy type class. Mm-hmm. Like, I need to understand because I get it, but then I'd be like, okay, like, and I don't want nobody to get over on me, you know, because I'm going to be rich. Like, I am. <laughs> so it's just like, I don't want nobody to get over on me. So right. I have to, like, like, teach myself these things. And. Which I do know a lot about. My ex boyfriend definitely put me on to a lot of free game, mm-hmm. but I don't know like everything still. And I yeah. I do be ignoring him because he be getting on my nerves sometimes. <laughs> like I don't want to take his advice sometimes. Right. <laughs> I'm an asshole. Okay. Well, but yeah. So how was like Texas? Like is that like like I don't even know what the eggs. Girl, it's easy. Um, this was my first year. I made over forty thousand dollars just off doing taxes. Period. Um, so that's self-taught too. You mm-hmm. taught yourself. How well, to no, sh- actually, um, me and this lady, I'm not gonna say her name, but we traded. Like I taught her credit, and she taught me taxes. Okay, cool. that's dope. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I be trading out here. Why did you make that? Can you teach me that? <laughs> Yeah, I want to learn how to start doing my own. When I no, to. I'll be tired of everybody starting doing their own. Like, nope, never mind. <laughs> I'm kidding, y'all. I'm kidding, I y'all. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'm not asking. No, she didn't answer the I question. I didn't even answer her question. I was just playing. Oh, about my five year? No, I was just thinking about. Like, oh, yeah. Girl, girl. Please. You know I'm going to come to you forever. Exactly. But to answer her question about my five year plan, um, of course, I want to hit a million. Right now, I'm only like 100K away from touching 500,000, so I'm close. close. Period. I kind of want to get into real estate when I'm like 25. I'm still thinking on it. Girl, she be calling me old every day. She be like, I ain't old. <laughs> First no, of all. Like, no, she be like, my nigga no. older. He's 25. I'm like, girl. Honestly, fuck, I'm not going to lie. Older. It kind of feels good to have somebody who considers her old because everybody who be around her be like, yeah, this is that. They be considering me old. And I be like, <laughs> and she be like, yeah, I'm like, okay, we both old together now. <laughs> nah, she definitely think I'm old, though. Well, that's crazy. That's crazy, yeah. yeah. I'm not old. I don't care what y'all say. <laughs> I ain't, even when I'm old, I'm not old. Mm, even when I'm 30, yes, giving me very much 22. It's giving forever 21. <laughs> forever 21. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just saying. I don't no. even want to be young. You know how dumb I was when I was that young? Like, are you kidding me? But I'm a little bit more wiser, like. It's crazy. I just feel like today's like day and age and stuff. Like not dumb, stuck. like dumb in the brain, but like like no, yeah, yeah. You, you was, know, just yeah, like you, ch- kid. you learn so much more like the older you get. Yeah, but I'm just trying to say like when I grew up, because we even grew up in kind of different eras a little bit. Like you missed some of the stuff. Yeah, that I, I went missed through. some of the stuff. Like she talking to me about some old shit. Stuff, I'd be yeah. like, girl, I was like a little bit like not even that much younger. But was I feel a little like younger than you. our kids are like in the new era or even right now. The kids are so smart because everything's so advanced. Everything's mm-hmm. technology. Everyone's social media. It's like you they have to learn something. And it's also what is cool. Like everybody wanna be they seen young people being rich. Mm-hmm. They see that's what you want. But when I was younger, we had different yeah. um, role models. Yeah. It wasn't the same. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't like so, the same. It but was the, not yeah. the crazy thing, some of that stuff be capped. Like I done met girls with millions of followers and they be broke. Hell yeah. Okay, so like, in, like yeah. you feel like in is it like in Atlanta or just in general? Like just in like, general. In general, I just be peeping, y'all. Like you what I love had. when people meet me, they be like, dang, what I see on Instagram is what I'm getting in person. Yeah. Like facts, just all around. It's facts. Do you have any like horror stories about people? Not the person. You don't have to say the name. But maybe mm-hmm. like maybe somebody you linked with and you felt like, oh, they had this going on or they said... And I never think too like, much of these bitches. Yeah, I don't even <laughs> think that... I don't even think that much into it. I don't think I'll give y'all an example, though. Yesterday was a lady. She's supposed to be some big boss entrepreneur and she went to a Mercedes-Benz dealership and took a picture in front of a G-Wagon. She brought her own little Louis bag, mm-hmm. fake roses and everything, and they exposed her yesterday and she oh. be selling courses and everything. And it was like, um, this lady, you can't be Pablo if your work ain't selling. So that was just an example. It's just perception. Okay, that's not funny. Maybe she was manifesting. Who yeah, knows? But they didn't have to do her like that. That was lame. Yeah. They didn't have to do her like that, but you didn't have to do them like that. Bitch, you're yeah. not buying no car. Why did you come here right. with roses? Girl, like she had a Louis sheet. bag. She should have got a rental. Yeah, she should have got a rental, baby. Oh, I'm and, sorry. And put a ball in that motherfucker. What the fuck is you talking about? Like, you went to the dealership 
talking shit no, like that? That's no, crazy. No, but people do that every day. Like, remember? Oh, never mind. It don't matter. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. We ain't gonna talk about it. We ain't gonna talk about it. But yeah, they, she, she couldn't worry about it a different way, I guess. Because there is a lot of people. <laughs> Perception is reality. They say that. People yeah. a lot of perceive things that... And they get people further. You know and what? that's what I was trying to say, too. Okay, what do you think about this, being mm-hmm. a business owner? Because I talk about this all the time. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of people who are coaches or, like, they do something, child. Mm-hmm. And they kind of, I don't know, it's like they kind of, to me, they cut corners mm-hmm. to make it seem one way. But, but, it actually really not. Not. but it actually gets them further, though, because then people are like, oh, my God, I but look up to you. But it don't be for longevity, though. I don't know. Some see, that's, be, that's some the do. thing. I so like all of my stuff to that? be organic. It's I don't authentic. really believe in me the too. Instagram coaches, the bosses, shit. because mm-hmm. just because you made six figures, that don't mean, I mean, you can give the blueprint but that don't mean this person gonna work as hard as you did to get that six figures like just don't be out here selling fake dreams right like when i sell my courses i'm like oh i can get you six figures in a month i tell them if you follow this this exact blueprint and do what i'm telling you to do yeah you're gonna get results but you just can't tell somebody oh i'm I'm gonna help you make a hundred k like no, a lot of that just be marketing, and they just be trying to get sales. I just don't believe in, like, so faking the funk. I swear to God, I do not. Because okay. anything that I get is going to be authentic. Like, And a just, lot of these girls, well, bosses, coaches, like, they be mean girls. I just feel like hard girls. work build, beats talent. Like that? And I just feel like you have mm-hmm. to just work hard for stuff that you want. Like... All that, all that being popular and being mm-hmm. in the limelight, that don't mean that don't mean, I mean a million dollars. I they want don't. the money. It's bitches that will promote their shit mm-hmm. on the shade room, and they don't get no views. They don't get no money. They ain't get paid shit. Paid promo, like, and that's another he, blessing he, I had. I've never had to pay for paid promo. Ever. I don't think there's nothing wrong with paid promo. By the it's way, it's not. Not saying it is. I think I'm it's good to have it organic, is. but I don't think there's nothing wrong with paid promo. I'm I feel like a little, uh, I feel like both. I want to try out the Instagram yeah. ads. I just can't find the right person. I think like one lady told me like 10k, but I'm just like, girl, is it really gonna bring me? I just feel well, like I yourself. just feel like yeah. you're smart. if you really that girl, or if you really work hard, like you you ain't gonna need all of that. Like if you consistent mm-hmm. and you like I like. People gonna want to promote you off it, like they just gonna want to. Yeah. And that's I don't ever want to feel like I have to rely on that type of shit. Yeah. Because there's people that really rely on that type of shit to make a dollar. Like I don't want to feel like I have to every week. I gotta give somebody fucking five k, ten k to promote our podcast so we can get views. Like mm-hmm. we can get it organically as long as we stay consistent from the ground and up. And just off based off our personalities and what the fuck we talking about. Like I don't, I just feel like bitches be faking the phone. Mm-hmm. Right. That's another thing I, I feel too. like it. Okay, to me, I feel like if you're paying for a promotion and it's not generating you income, that's not smart. Yeah. But people who, to me, it's flipping your money. So if you have ten thousand dollars and you pay for promotion, it gets you twenty thousand dollars, gets you double. That's yeah. beneficial. But I'm, not, that's, I'm talking. Right. If we were talking, I'm, I'm talking about our podcast. If we're oh, talking no, no, about something about, that's going to bring business. you money, that's I'm different. Talking, yeah. I'm just that's way business. different than yeah. I'm talking Some about. Some people just want to be popular. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that's. I don't believe in that. If you paying to just be popular, that's dumb. You're not even allowed to do that. That's what I was referring to. That's what I was referring to too. I was talking about money. Also, another thing I'll be noticing with some of these, you know, coaches and stuff. I hate when they try to tear another person down that's in the same field as them. Like. Yeah, you shouldn't have to do that to get clients. You shouldn't have to do that to get clients. Yeah, how do you feel about down. that? Do you feel like if somebody else is doing like credit and all that stuff, like do you feel like y'all in competition or do you feel like y'all could still be like? Well, I personally teach you know, courses, so clearly I don't give a damn what they do. I want them to be up. Like I don't want to be the only person out here that's a millionaire. I want to see every black person, whatever race. I ain't just gonna make it about black people. That's why I teach black my people. courses. <laughs> No, I mean like that's okay. why I teach my the courses. Black I mean like the other we don't entrepreneurs really want those that need that to be sell, millionaires. The fuck like, is working credit like, courses. Oh no, because I know them bitches ain't fucking field. with me. Okay. My results oh, speak period. for itself. Like, period. and that's just I'm that. Here for it, because I feel like pull up the reviews. That's all I'm saying. I speak for like just in Atlanta. I feel like when people do the same thing, not even credit, like makeup mm-hmm. artists, hairstylists, sell clothes, whatever. I feel like it's a competitive space mm-hmm. where it's like it the. I don't know. The yeah. state, the world is so big. Like you could support everyone. Like everyone's gonna have their mm-hmm. own clientele. Is what I mean. And see, my business is global. Like, I be having clients, like in all the fifty states. It ain't just I don't even pay attention to you, bitches. I mean, That's what I forgot world. to tell y'all too. Right. I have oh my, my own call center. center. I forgot to tell y'all about the call okay, center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have hundred and twelve agents. So if you need a Period. job, because everybody don't want to be a boss, you can come work for my call center. 
Period. And it's paying don't up say to it like that. You gotta clean that up a little bit. What you mean? He was like, everybody don't want to be alive. They don't though. No. no, but you need client, you need workers, so the, you gotta be nicer. Do that again. But I'm saying <laughs> like, do it again. People really you know, be telling me I they don't want to do entrepreneurship. You guys are young. No, okay, now you need to, you need to say y'all are well, you young. Saying y'all, for me. You guys are. If y'all work up under me, I will get y'all here. Okay, stand for me. Stand okay. for me. All right, I'm just, that's just me. So I'm gonna be guys, cutthroat with y'all. Everybody mm-hmm. don't want to have their own business, so I gotta reach out to the ones they want to. All right, she won't say like that. Fuck. That's fuck real though. Oh, that's it. real though. There's nothing wrong with it. Girl, Girl people really just want to work in the house. How you get people to work for you? You be like, you no. guys, like, but yeah, they not actually I'm, working for my me. My wages go up with every you. year. Oh, they 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 yeah, like, I, they I, I, I like, increase my pay every fucking year. They not right. actually working for she, me. I partner with like Home Depot, Walgreens. Well, tell them they're gonna be a boss in their own motherfucking right. And you want to be a boss in your own motherfucking right? Okay. She said it. Look what she said. Under a under a bigger, you know, under umbrella but you still yeah you work your move you working when you want to okay we got you over here Get, <laughs> apply for her call center yeah <laughs> okay she the the on them. She the no with was that shitting on them though no, i literally said I some people from, do not was, like i've had conversations oh, it could with be people that was, that was not good <laughs> no Nobody but think about it you. oh my god okay. some Sorry. people do not want to be a boss though he that get what i'm saying you get what i'm saying some people really well, She's me? like some people. Some people don't want to own that. Yeah, you can't, you can't that. say that to and them. And I worked. I, back in the day, I worked in the call center. You don't feel like a boss in the call center. Fuck yeah. no, I just work in a call center. <laughs> and you ain't feel Sorry like a boss. Sorry if I offended anybody, um, but I wasn't all, trying to say uh, like that. My, I, 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 I quit like that job. Yeah, yeah really some people want to work. Yeah, they want to have a life. I like how you trying to. I was just trying to like not make them feel like damn. Oh my god, I'm gonna work and try it out, and if I don't like it, I was just trying to make them feel like that. Yeah. Okay. I just didn't want them to feel like peasants, but I'm no. sorry, I guess. It's just, I've really had that conversation like with people. They be like, look, I ain't into all that entrepreneurship. I'd rather work my nine to five, and that's that. How long have you um, been running the call center for? I started this about two months ago. Oh, two months? Okay. Is there any, like, growing mm-hmm. pains that you feel like you have, like, with you being so young and mm-hmm. having a business? That, that's a lot. Call center, mm-hmm. how many people with you got working? Co- 112 that's people. That's a lot. So what? But with the call center, it's pretty much passive income. I came up with, like, a welcome letter. So when they say they interested, it have all the steps on how to get started. So all I'm really doing is just accepting them into the call center, finalizing their documents and then paying them every two weeks okay so you, so yeah it's uh, not even i don't even gotta so train them nothing running it That's dope. The, so yeah with airbnb um i started in 2020 i had two units i made thirty thousand dollars my first year but then um a lot of people start asking me how do i start my own so i have over like 300 people that i mentor so that's pretty much what I'm into now, just teaching a course and going by my day. Because y'all know here in Atlanta, they getting strict with these Airbnb oh, properties. Facts, they definitely are. If you don't have a home, it's not even worth it. That's I all actually want to get into Airbnb. You should. Yeah. But you just know it's me? something that's like side money. It's not forever. Yeah. Unless you get your own I want to do it in Minnesota, though. Oh, well, that'd it's be dope. Like did you lot. look up the rules and everything already? Or you, you want me to help you research? Um, I did look up the rules because I was going to start one out there. But then... I did a pause on it, but it's not as like strict out there because it's okay, what's in Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, so yeah, yeah. All right. But people do go out there. We got the Mall of America. Period. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go out there. I'm surprised I done been everywhere but there. You should come. We should all go. Let's, let's go. Girl all trip. we need is a day. <laughs> One day we, we can do like a 24 hour yes. um, vlog. Yes, and then leave. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Would you do Airbnbs in Rochester? The no. Rock? Uh, okay. People get killed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in Buffalo. Or somebody gonna no. get killed in no. her Airbnb. <laughs> yeah. She gonna yeah. be on the news. Actually, somebody got killed in my cousin's Airbnb. It is oh dead. my oh, goodness. Yeah. You know, did. The we did talk yeah. about that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No, I'm not doing That's Airbnbs crazy. in my city. It's they're crazy ass people. Yeah, they tripping. Yeah. They sound like my city. That's all I was telling you. You're crazy psychos. <laughs> Anyways, okay, guys. So you guys got to hear a lot. You guys got some free game yeah, from all of my game. client, Jazz, our friend Jazz. Yes, our friend okay, Jazz. thank y'all for having me. She's 